One woman says she escaped the fire by going out the back door and down that fire escape. She lives next door to where the fire started. She said residents were sleeping one minute and then running to safety the next. I couldn't see nothing. Like it was real thick black. Kirsten Sand says she was terrified. And all of a sudden, like all this smoke, the room filled up. It was like black smoke and it was like real, real dark. And I couldn't breathe. She has asthma, and the apartment next to hers was on fire. When I was looking out on my back door, there was flames coming out. So I got scared. I shut the door back, went into my bathroom, put a towel in there, and just barricaded myself. She knew she had to get out. I couldn't see nothing. Like it was real thick black. So I went to my front door to try to get out. When I opened up my front door, there was flames coming in. So I shut the front door, locked it, got a towel, stuck it underneath. Then I ran um, to my back door. It started just after midnight inside this three story building on Euclid. Crews arrived on scene. They found heavy smoke on the second floor, heavy fire emanating from the rear of the building on the second floor. Firefighters got it under control, but the damage is extensive. Charred remains and debris are scattered on the ground. I was up and down throughout the night, and I heard, heard what sounded like police, and I saw people outside, and I knew something was going on. Neighbors heard the commotion and worried for their friends. Investigators say it started in someone's kitchen on the stove. Now it's just a matter of when residents can return home. The building inspector will be out at some point to determine when the residents can get back inside. In the meantime, the Red Cross is helping those residents out. In East Liberty, I'm Amber Nicotra, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.